Well, the Royals are about to become a distant memory for the rest of the summer. They basically fall off the face of the earth when it comes to the media coverage this time of the year. The Chiefs still own this town, lock, stock, and barrel. They'll be on all over your TVs for the next month or so when they hold training camp up in St. Joe. We're told as many as 5,000 fans will show up daily to watch practice. Kansas City sports fans are starved for a winner. I thought the Royals were going to make a push this summer when they went hot and got on that streak under their new manager. But now nah, they're still the same old Royals. No matter who's calling the shots, they still stink. And it's not just the Royals in this town. The Chiefs haven't been any better for the past 10 years or so, but at least there's hope. And I give Scott Pioli credit for changing what he calls the culture at Arrowhead. It was a mess, both on and off the field, when he took over. Under the former regime, those in charge were obnoxious and arrogant and difficult to deal with. There has been a massive upgrade now in the public relations department, and I can already see improved working relations, which should benefit the fans in getting access to better and more accurate information concerning this football team. It is refreshing to see this new regime making an effort to be civil in the way it conducts business. I cannot imagine what it would be like to have winners on both sides of the parking lot out in the Truman Sports Complex. At this point, I think the Chiefs have a much better chance of doing that. That's Jack Smack.